<clears throat> All right, ready to do this? Yeah. Right, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Why are you doing the tips of? What are you talking about? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Simo. I'm here with Jeremy, and uh, this is my hat. I need to wear it. It's disgusting. I, I just like. I just like rummaging through my bag and I just like happened to just find happened your jersey. To find, just happened to find it. Yeah, it's, it's a coincidence. So I mean, you know, do you mind like signing that and like no, maybe- I thought we were filming a promo video. No, we are, we are, we are. But like, you know. Oh, and the, and the basketball. You're shameless, you know. But listen, you know, we've been, you know, we've been hanging out for a while now. And like my parents are like, you know, who's this guy that you're spending all this time with? And I'm, I don't know, I just, I just want to know like, where's it, where's it going? You know, like, do you, cause like you never introduced me to your friends and like I haven't met your parents yet. So I, is this like a, you know what I mean? Like, are you, you mean like a define the relationship type stuff? Like you don't know, put like a label on it and like you travel a lot or whatever, but you know, I just, I don't know, I'm like. <laughs> That's good, good. Hey, it's Simu. I'm here with NBA champion Jeremy Lin, and uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about an event that I'm throwing on July 13th called the CCYA Celebrity Classic. So I'm bringing a bunch of my friends from LA. Uh, we got Wong Fu, you know, the Fung Bros. Uh, we got people from Toronto like Kanto Mando, um, Andrew Fung, my boy on Kim's Convenience is going to be there, and uh, we're doing it for a really, really great cause. So we're going to be donating all of our proceeds to the Jeremy Lin Foundation. So Jeremy, why don't you tell them a little bit about what the foundation is about? The Jeremy Foundation, our, our whole thing is to work with underprivileged children, and uh, we love finding underdog organizations uh, because of the, you know, having the underdog story. And so we just try to find an organization that are doing great work but might need a little bit more, uh, you know, whether it's resources, funding, or exposure. Um, and so at pretty much every city that we go to, or every city that I play in, and even back home and, and overseas, we try to do, uh, you know, partner with these organizations. And so everything is aimed for underprivileged children. And that's what we do. Awesome. So I hope to see you there.